is up, YouTube bitch for the franchise guy, and we're getting episode started off scouting some tight ends. Cause I think tight ends are probably one of our weaker positions right now. We got Vernon Davis, and that's about it. A couple of maybe undrafted guys. No one real big though. But we got Brevin Jordan out of Miami, vertical threat guy, Jake Ferguson, possession guy out of Wisconsin, six five two four, not bad. Uh, J uh, Jack Stahl out of Nebraska. Rolled at 23, vertical threat though. Jeremy Ruckert, 23 out of Ohio State. I'm sorry, THE Ohio State. Blocking tight end, like to see that. And Cole Komet out of Notre Dame. But take it on none other than the Minnesota Vikings. You got Harrison Smith as an X-Factor. Adam Thielen's an X-Factor. We got next Stefan Diggs as a superstar. Alright, Jukebox, you got... Daniel Hunter, defensive end, is a superstar, and Eric Kendricks, Michael Kendricks' is brother, superstar. And for your Jaguars, you got Antonio Brown as your superstar X Factor. Same old, same old right there, and Josh Allen will be your superstar. But hopefully we can get W this week. I mean, always hoping for a W every week, but really hoping just to right this ship. Turn everything around for us. Hopefully get us into the playoffs. You know, how crazy would that be, though? Start the season off with Eli Manning after a 0-16 season. We win our first game with Eli Manning. And I think, oh, great, Eli's back. Cool. You know, we dropped the next two games, you know, Eli Manning. Okay, but not great, though. But the th fourth game of the season, wherever it was, you know, Eli Manning has a really bad game. And after that, they bench him for... Jake Fromm, and Fromm so far has done okay. Not bad, not great, but not bad. You know, he's a young quarterback, he's you know, a rookie, doesn't have a big supporting cast around him, so it's time to, you know, put up or shut up. We got to get Antonio Brown, he's got two years on his contract, you know, he's got this year and next season. He's getting up there at age two, so he's going to be looking for some money, he's got a big cap hit next year. Which is something that, kind of why we want to go with a lot of players on, you know, drafted players. Because they're going to have low salaries. So it's going to help negate, you know, Antonio Brown and those guys who are going to have those big contracts. You know, that's... But looking at the Vikings, uh, Reef, Eflin, or Elfin, you know, Thielen, Madison, Cook, Rudolph. Not, not a bad team. But heading up off to Dalvin Cook, and Cook will run... For the first down right there. Two rushes a day for 16 yards for the running back right there. First and 10 now. Kirk Cousins under center. The ball's going to be snapped right there. Cousins pocket unscathed right there. Thielen just catches it and just keeps all going. 21 yard pickup for the former undrafted wide receiver. Take a look at your Jaguars. You got Allen, Wilson, Bobman, Osman, Lewis, Reese, uh, Willikis. Uh, bad Lamancor, Robinson, Swa, Craven, Levante, Terra, and Christian Fulton. Not a bad defense. Not like an intimidating defense, but not a bad defense. But Cousins going long. Pass broken up, though, by the defensive back right there. So, hey, fourth and five. Not going to hold him to a field goal, which is what you want to do. You don't want teams to score on you early. So, the lining up for the field goal right here. I mean, if it's a field goal, it's a field goal. And the kick will be up, and that kick will be no good. It's going to be short and to the right. So, Aguayo just not not doing what uh, he's supposed to be doing still. He was like a third round, second round draft pick too, wasn't he? But third and six right there. Davis not going to get it. Oh, no, he does get it. They do give him the first down, actually. Six-yard pickup on the catch. Second and four now from hand this ball off to Etienne. Etienne, who's now been our starter recently over the Sean McCoy. There's some big breakout games. Look at that. Three rushes, 19 yards so far. Not too shabby. Third and four now from under center. There we go. Hits Davis once again. Davis is the veteran tight end. Doing what he does. Speed not quite there to break away. But hey, he can catch the ball. All that matters. Three catches. All three targets on the day. From again, though. Hitting someone who's not quite Vernon Davis, though. ETN with the catch right there. Don to the uh, fourth and one now on the nine yard line. Safe bet will be to go for that, but we're not going to play safe. Hand the ball to Dalton Crozen. Crozen 
Gonna get three yard pickup right there. From now dropping back, from gonna fire over the center, and that will be none other than Antonio Brown with uh, the touchdown right there. His first on the game, not bad at all for AB. Nice voice crack right there. I am a little under the weather too right now, so do I do apologize for that one right there. It's maybe some voice crack is make blah, blah, blah. words are hard for me right now. It might be a little nasally, might be a little hard for me to speak, but Crow's in big. Big, big pickup right there at the second and eight. Gets a first down right there. And then a little extra off that. Three for 16 for the fullback. But here we go again. Vernon Davis now with it. Davis going to run him up the middle. I mean, hey, if he's going to catch the ball, why not run the ball too? There we go. Look at that. Nice little handstand I guess he's doing. Frozen again now. Another rush right here up to the 46-yard line. Seven rushes for 38 yards on the game for Crozen. Looking like another Payton Hillis type running back. As we're just going to send him up the middle once again. He's just racking up first downs right now. I mean. What's the point of me running ETN when you have someone as dominating as that? And that's what happens when you run someone too many times in a row. He's going to fumble the ball right there. Kendricks is going to pick it up unfortunately. It's a bit of a momentum shift right there when you have a, a young running back like Dalton Crozen. And he's going to have a costly mistake like that. Especially, you know, when the drive's been doing pretty steady, you know, it just happens like that. He gets, you know, blindsided with a hit, loses the ball. Probably could have gone with a different running back. He's probably a little gassed. But, live and we learn. All we can say right there, but look at that. that that's on, is that on us right there, too? To be honest, that's going to be unnecessary roughness. I guess for that tackle out of bounds, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. But... Doesn't matter. Thielen gonna catch wide open, breaks away from everyone, scores a touchdown, ties this game up at seven apiece. Oh boy, it's gonna be a harder matchup than I thought, isn't it? From yeah, the sack right there, third and twenty now for From. From dropping back, From firing deep. From does he have a receiver? No, it's broken up. On Thank goodness it was not intercepted, though, as the receivers could just keep it batting it slowly out of the way of the Vikings. First and 10 now for Minnesota. Minnesota is going to go to the pickup right here. First down for Adam Thielen. Going to hold them to a field goal, though. Here we go. It's going to be shanked wide left, actually, on first and 10 right there. Don't know why they're actually going for him first and 10. It's kind of weird when you think about it. But gives the ball back to Jacksonville and Jacksonville. AB is going to get catch that right there. Doesn't matter. No time to set up a field goal. But back to Jacksonville. And Jacksonville's going to hand his ball off to the show. McCoy. McCoy gets a big pickup right there. He's got five rushes today for over 20 yards. McCoy again. McCoy has some daylight. McCoy breaks free for another big run right there. Up to 48 yards on the ground for the veteran running back. Closing in, I think, on like 10,000 yards, too. It's getting up there in yards. E10, now the rookie running back gets that easy four yard pickup. He's got 38 yards on the game. You know, from dropping back though, no running back. Fires over the middle. Look at that. AB again. That's the man you want to find wide open. His second touchdown of the game. Not too bad for the future Hall of Fame receiver. But, Cousins firing deep. I mean, not even firing deep. Firing shallow for the first down pickup right there. I mean, you can tell it's not a Monday Night Football game because Kirk Cousins is producing for some reason. And look at that. That's Rudolph right there for the pickup. I mean, I don't understand really how they get all these all these passes right there. It's just first and ten right there. Look at that. Hand is ball for a little end around route to Stefan Diggs. And Diggs is just going to fall forward. No, nothing coming our way luck-wise when it comes to dealing with this defense. I guess still with their offense, our defense. No pressure again. Thielen walks in untouched for his second touchdown in the game, too. So two receivers, one for each team with two touchdowns on the game. From the play action, from firing, hitting Josh Gordon. Gordon's going to spin around right there. And going to be down first and ten now. Flashing again, going to fire deep. This time we have... Antonio Brown once again, and Brown going to dive in the end zone for his third, yes, count it, third touchdown of the game, his 10th on the season. 
Oh my lord, Antonio Brown, you are having one monstrumental season, are you not? At least you're having a season turnaround since coming here, Jacksonville. But third and eight now for the Vikings. Cousins, of course, gets another first down right there. It happens, you know? You know, 11 yards after the catches. No one wants to play defense. No one wants to play zone. No one wants to, you know, cover their man. Look at that. It's wide open field again. Oh, my Lord. What do you got to do to cover that space right there? Third and four. Cousins unscathed in that pocket. And then there's Rudolph again. Another first down completion. I'm thinking maybe at some point we're going to, you know, stop something. It's his third catch of the game. Second and goal now, and we're going to finally get some pressure to him as Lewis gets in there with the sack right there, the linebacker, Lewis. Alright, third and goal now, can we get some more pressure to him? No pressure whatsoever. But, unfortunately he's out of bounds zone, now if going for the field goal on fourth and goal, here we go. Seven yard line, they miss it, that sucks to be them, but they're going to hit this one right there, so they will be up to 17 points now. Our lead shrinks to 21 to 17. From firing deep, does he have his receiver deep? And no, it's going to be padded down on third and 10. Not what you want to see right there, as you're trying to go deep. For one of your younger running backs, in Ishmael Jr. But now on defense yet again. And look at that. Dalvin Cook just gets the catch and turns upfield and gets the first down. Cousins over 230 yards on the game so far. Cook 20 yards after the catch right there. It's a little gross when you think about it out loud. Look at that. Cook again. A Cook again breaks free. Now he's in the secondary. Can the secondary get him? And no, they cannot. He takes that up the field for a touchdown. Dalvin Cook. Oh my lord. 54 yard touchdown this game. Is now belongs to the Vikings as the Vikings have the lead as we're going to try and go deep. There we go. AB comes down with that one. I'm sorry. That's actually Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy number 81 comes I'm so used to AB doing stuff like that. I assumed it was him. Third and goal now for your Jaguars. ETN going out of McCoy going in motion. I apologize. From now by himself in the empty backfield. Going to roll out of the pocket. Got Fire. No, we're not going to have to throw. We're going to get sacked right there by Hunter, and we're going to settle for a field goal, tying the game up 24 all. I mean, if our defense can hold, maybe we can get the overtime, get a field goal, score a touchdown or something. Do something that just isn't this. But on third and 12, pass will be broken up right there. Force them to punt with a, over a minute left. Now, Fromm has to get to work right now as he's going to get sacked on first and 10 by Gross Matos. I mean, second 20 now. Fromm drops back. from firing. Firing deep. Fromm does. Fromm will be picked off. Oh, my. No, that is not what you want to see. They're going to turn it down to the 35-yard line. 34, Xavier Rhodes does. It bounced in the air and it gets intercepted. 24 seconds left. They're going to hand off balls to Dalvin Cook. They're trying to run out the clock. Trying to get a couple extra yards right there. I mean, hey, we just, uh, we're going to call the timeout right there. Going to give the old icing the kicker a shot. You know what I mean? Ice the kicker. Crack a cold Pepsi. Wide open. Here we go. Can they miss the field goal with three seconds left? Aguayo's kick is up, and it will be no good. It will be short. Oh, the impossible has happened. The impossible has happened. We are going to overtime. All right, Vikings like to receive. Of course, they do. we're going to defend the right. The right we will defend. And, I mean, if our defense can hold up, I mean, I don't see why we can't do it. Second inches now. Cousins... Sacked right there by Josh Allen. His first sack of the game. Allen, you know, right now probably leading the league in sacks for how well he's been doing getting to that quarterback. Third and six now. Allen, pressure. But Cousins will get the first down. Steelen's going to fall over that line. Down to, uh, up to the 34 yard, I should say. Second six again. You know, look at that. Diggs this time with the first down. 
third and six. OT warning still. And there we go. Josh Allen gets a free rush at the passer. He gets his second sack of the game on Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins not having fun back there, I'm assuming. But, hey, ball comes back to us right there. So we're going to get the first down at the Vernon Davis. From again dropping back from firing deep. Does he have his man? And yes, he does. Antonio Brown is going to come up with that pass because he is great. Kind of receiver need for a young star to help him mold his game. But right there, you see number 89 is going to get that pass on, in, I guess, in the red zone down to the two yard line. Handball to Dolan Crows. And Crows had that fumble earlier. Doesn't matter now. They're giving all their trust in the running back, and he is going to score. Give the Jaguars the win. They're second on the season. That is what you want to see from a clutch performer like that. Dolan Crozen comes in. He makes a mental mistake, makes an in-game mistake, fumbles the ball. But he gets his number caught on again now on the goal line with the game-winning touchdown on the line. And guess what? He's going to run that bad boy right through the hole. Yeah. He's the kind of guy that's going to do that, but we do end up winning 30-24. to Not a bad game for either From or Alec Baum. I mean, From, I mean, eh, whatever. But From, 14 for 25. Three tutties, one interception, which is a bogus interception, too. Not entirely sure why it does that all the time. Just bounces things up. Crows another team with 54 rushing yards attack. A little fumble, unfortunately. There we go, the rest of everyone else who was rushing today. I mean, not bad. We split up pretty easily between McCoy and Etienne. But Brown, 140 yards, Chad 55, Randy was 30. Gordon, 21, Chad Williams, 18. Etienne, 9. Taysom Hill, none. All right. Also, there's a drop, though, so that's pretty even, I'd say. Blocking. Oh, had three sacks. Cleveland Lemieux glass. I mean, tackle wise, led by Ten Kenny Willekes with 10 total tackles and a TFL because, hey, he is a productive guy. He gets things done. Swat Cravens had six. I mean, a bunch of guys had six right there. Allen had two sacks with four tackles. Landman had an okay day. Terrell Lewis had a sack right there. I keep forgetting his first name's Terrell. But anyone else who has a pretty big thing? No, no one does. Kicking Vinterio was one for one and three for three because the goat will go out on top. I hope he will go out something at least. Towns okay. Look at that. Etn sixty three yards, but doing some upgrades now. We got Josh Allen as a defensive end. Gonna upgrade him to we gonna upgrade him to like a ninety four though. So that's what we gotta try and do. Upgrade your run stopper, your all that stuff. Now we upgrade that top one. Alright, that will be Christian Fulton's turn now. I mean, man to man. Of course, we just need all of our corners to have really good man to man so we can worry about, you know, zone later. But Jake from, how you doing there, bud? I mean, there we go. Gets the recommendation right there to start. Levanta Terra, they always get an upgrade right here. But. If you guys like this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed any episodes, it was down below. And until next time, YouTube, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, and rock on. Stay super classy, I really guess.